Good morning from a different location. I'm currently out of town. Um, and I was going to do this outside because it's very nice outside and it's like foresty because we're up north. Um, but like the area that we're in, we're at my stepdad's house. Um, he's got a like a north, like a winter house sort of. Um, the area that we're in where the house is, it's like still developing. So they're building a house like right across the street. There's like construction, chopping down trees going on all over the place. So um, unfortunately you get this boring bathroom. <laughs> um, so we're gonna do beauty heroes today. I'm like out of breath already. I mean, the elevation is a little bit higher, but I haven't like normally felt that I'm like out of breath, but I also haven't talked this much. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> All right, so what I thought I would do with you guys today is just show you what my skincare routine is as well. Like this is gonna be sort of like more casual with a little bit of the Beauty Heroes review sort of like thrown in um, because that's just what I feel like doing. I'm kind of taking it easy on my channel just in the next couple of weeks just because I am out of town. Um, so I don't have anything filmed for next week yet. We'll sort of see what happens when I get home, if I'm able to film anything. <laughs> um, okay, so let's just get started. So I've already washed my face. Now, I didn't bring with me what I usually wash my face with when I'm in the shower. I have been working on using up a lot of product recently. My April empties bag is quite full. <laughs> it's probably the most empties I'll have in like one month in like a long time. Um, because I've been working really hard on using up a lot of stuff. So I forgot a few things. I did not bring up my Osmia soap, which I usually use. The only cleanser type products I brought with me are the Nourishing Cleansing Oil from Live Botanical, which I've been using at night to cleanse. Um, it's just a little sample size, but I really, really like this. This is such a really great moisturizing oil cleanser. It's emulsifying. It works really well to break down makeup and it keeps the face feeling moisturized. So if you're not looking for something that's like specific to any maybe sort of skin type, I do have specific favorites for like acne prone skin, oily skin, things like that. But if you're looking for something maybe a little bit more moisturizing or something sort of um, that isn't really geared towards anything. I don't know that this really is geared towards anything. I think, I mean, this is a good sort of like staple facial cleansing oil. This is what I've been using at night. I really like that. Highly recommend picking up like, you know, little samples of the Live Botanical products because she sells all of her products in, you know, small sizes so you can try before you buy the big sizes. But that one's a really nice one. It smells really great, works really well. So what I've been using in the morning, because this is the only thing I brought with me, um, I, I threw a couple of masks in at the last minute. Uh, like packing was, <laughs> it was like a production because I was working the day that we left and I was sort of like doing laundry and like cleaning the house at the same time and then I forgot like many things. Um, I was gonna do like a sponsored thing over on Instagram and I totally forgot what I was gonna do. You know, I forgot the products for it. I was gonna do like this thing for Fit Glow's birthday, totally forgot that. Um, so yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like a mess, but we're like up here relaxing. It's like nice, I'm trying not to worry too much about it. So the only other cleansing product I brought is the Flower and Spice Instant Glow Calming Exfoliator. So I've been using this in the morning. So it's exfoliating my skin. Um, it's leaving it really like nice and soft. Oops, I love this stuff, as you can see. It's like this nice, like white, sort of like fluffy. Mm. I keep getting it on myself. And it's like got these really fine, fine grains. So that's what I used this morning before I got in the shower um, because I washed my hair, obviously. <sighs> Just drinking some tea at the same time. So those are the cleansing products that I've been using. That's all I brought with me. <laughs> um, you know, at home I've been working on, you'll see in my empties, I've been working on using up a lot of things. Um, but my staples usually are an Osmia bar of soap, either the pumpkin one or the black clay one. I am using the pumpkin one at home right now. So I finished my black clay little sliver. I alternate um, and then I'll use some kind of exfoliating something, but um, that's all that I brought with me this time. But it's fine, my face has been, my face has been enjoying it. So the next thing I do is I take my Tower 28 Daily Rescue Facial Spray. This is the first mist that I do morning and night. My skincare routine looks basically the same morning, excited, morning and night except for the moisturizer. Um, okay, so then I let that dry down a little bit and then I spray my Nini Organics Rain Hydrating Essence. I've been trying to finish this up. Today is the 30th. 
So I've been trying to finish up as much as I can before the end of the month, um, but I don't think this one is gonna quite make it. This one, I might be able to finish because I've been really working hard to use the Graydon one. I love that one. So I also use the Rain Essence, which I love that. It's so amazing. It's like hydrating, lightly exfoliating. I've talked to you guys about that before. This is my second bottle. <laughs> I've already finished up one whole bottle of that. Okay, so this is where the first product um, from the Beauty Heroes box comes in. So the... But the brand featured this month is Blissoma, which is a brand that I've known about for a long time. I've used a bunch of their products. Um, and this, one of the, pro the, the hero product is one that I have tried and I've talked to you guys about before. Um, but the sidekick, which is what I'm gonna do now, is not one that I have used until it got sent to me. So this is the Aura Photo Brightening Serum. And it just looks like this. So this is the, um, so the full size is what you get. It's 1.3 ounces and it retails for $72. So it's formulated to support optimal performance of photonic light shifting solution, which is the Hero product. It's their SPF. Um, Aura Phyto Brightening Serum is a vitamin packed powerhouse that is both protective and reparative. It safeguards skin with superior antioxidant protection and helps skin rebound and repair after UV exposure, which this actually came at the perfect time because two weekends ago, I was out in the yard um, doing some yard work. We're, we're sort of, we're cleaning up our yard. For many years, we've had like three dead oleanders in our front yard and I'm surprised our HOA hasn't been like, get those things out of here, but they haven't. <laughs> so we finally decided we were gonna take them out. We're gonna clean up the yard. We put in a couple of new flowers. Um, we had the whole irrigation, you know, fixed in the front because it hasn't been working. We put in a few more bougainvillea on the side of the house, you know, for some extra privacy, um, you know, once they grow because they're small now. But bougainvillea are great for privacy because they've got like, you know, lots of uh, prickers, you know, thorns on them. So I really don't have to worry about people climbing the fence. Not that I have to worry about that in my neighborhood anyway, but it's just sort of like nice, like an extra... You know. Anyway, we were out in the front yard and um, I didn't put sunscreen on that day because I forgot like an idiot because it was like 80 degrees. I wasn't really thinking about, you know, the sun, it being like super harsh or anything, but you know, you can even get sunburned at 80 degrees because I did. So um, that weekend, this box actually showed up. So I've been using this for the last two weeks. So the brightening serum came in at the perfect time um, because it says it helps skin rebound and repair after UV exposure, which is when I started using it right after that. And then it also came with a photonic light shifting solution. So I've been using, testing that SPF for the last couple of weeks. So anyway, side story. I told you this is gonna be more casual. <laughs> so Aura is crafted with 14 minerals, antioxidants, and vitamins that work synergistically to diminish the appearance of melasma and hyperpigmentation, which my melasma did pick up a little bit um, in sort of these areas after my sun exposure. Um, the secret to Aura's success is the remarkable diversity of antioxidants in the formula, beginning with pomela, a whole fruit pomegranate extract that is especially suited for its skin benefits. Mineral-rich rooibos tea delivers its own unique antioxidant boost while layered into the formula is superoxide dismutase, a second generation antioxidant known for supporting detoxification and repair. Fermented wasabi, cranberry seed oil, and uva ursi all bring their unique free radical fighting talents to the table. The synergy of herbs, full spectrum antioxidants um, combined with sodium uh, ascorbyl phosphate at 3% make this your ultimate daily essential. The weightless feel of Aura layers effortlessly to help your skin feel hydrated and balanced but never greasy. When worn under an SPF, the serum helps balance and regulate skin's response to the sun, supporting its natural abilities to protect, repair, and radiate. So if you remember my last... Uh, uh, sort of like routine video, because this is my current skincare routine. Um, I was using the Graydon Full Moon Serum. I did finish that, and then this came in, so it was like, again, perfect timing. So this is where I'm using that. This is sort of like my hydrating vitamin C step, sort of like brightening step. So it's got the rooibos, burdock, licorice, club moss, heather flowers, um, linden leaf flower, gentian root, um, bearberry rose, so, I mean, it does have, I feel like it's hydrating probably from the like aqueous infusion of the rooibos leaf. So it's got sort of like a, like a hydrating layer, but there's really nothing else in here that I can see anyway. 
at least that's not like calling out to me at the like present moment about it being like, so it doesn't have like hyaluronic acid in it. So I do use this before my oil serum. So I'm gonna spray my face again. Cause I spray it, I do put it on damp skin. And then um, I do just take like a few drips of that. Usually it doesn't come out this fast, but because of the elevation, it sort of like shoots out. <laughs> so then I rub that between my hands and I spread that all over. I'm really enjoying this. I do really love the scent of it because it, it does have that like aqueous infusion of the rooibos. It does smell very much like tea. It's very pleasant. Something about Blissoma, it almost sort of like reminds me of like Earthwise in a way. Not, I mean, their, their products are so very different, but I think it's just like the infusion of like specific herbs and like the scents are very, I don't know, herbally. It just kind of reminds me of Earthwise in a way. And I've liked most of the products that I've tried from Blissoma. I do find though, like in my experience using their products, you do have to use them up pretty quickly. Um, I just don't think they have like a super high, uh, you know, like um, preservation system or anything like a, like a strong one because I find that they do go off pretty quickly. So I do try to use them, you know, pretty quickly. Otherwise they do tend to go off. The color changes, the texture changes, the scent changes, and then I just don't feel comfortable using them anymore. But I've really, really been enjoying that serum. So it, it dries down, you know, really quickly. It doesn't leave the skin feeling like tacky or sticky or anything. And I do feel like it is helping. You know, it's only been two weeks, so I can't make a definitive statement yet, but I do feel like it is helping to lighten some of these areas. Though my melasma in some areas of my face is very pronounced and like this is as bad as it's been in a long time. Like, look at that. Um, you know, it's very dark, especially around my cheeks. You know, you can really see it in the sort of like under area. This whole area here is just all discolored. But I do feel like it's helping. I feel like when I look at my face, you know, in the mirror, I feel like I am seeing like a difference in in that, in the last couple of weeks. So, you know, I'm gonna keep using it for a while. Um, I don't have any plans to switch to a different serum. I mean, I don't know what's coming in um, any of the boxes next month quite yet, but um, I don't think it's gonna be a serum of any kind, and even if it is, I think I'm gonna keep using this, you know, throughout the summer, um, especially just, you know, for my skin type. I think it'll be beneficial along with the SPF. Okay, so that is this. I'm really enjoying this so far. I'm excited to see how it works, you know, long-term, using it for a few more weeks, months, whatever. <laughs> um, okay, so then we're getting on to the next part of my skincare routine, which is my oil and moisturizer, and then we'll get on to the, the SPF. So I'm still using the 12 Beauty Intelligent Frontier Facial Oil, which came in last month's um, or I guess, I mean, technically this month's because it was April's Box Walla Box. This has a three month um, best of used by date. So I am going to try to use this completely. Um, I'm, I'm not planning on picking up any other oils into my routine because I want to make sure that I finish this. This is sort of like a very precious formula. It's very expensive. I really don't want it to go to waste. So I, and I, my skin also really enjoys it. So there's that as well. So my skin has been responding really well to the 12 beauty products. Um, I am using their nutritive repair emulsion at night. So this is my nighttime moisturizer. So I still am using that. My skin's responding really well to it. I'm gonna keep using it. Um, I also wanna make sure that I use this up because I do not want this to go to waste. I think, let's see, where am I? I don't know, I think I'm about a quarter of the way so far through it, possibly a little bit more than that, but I'm really enjoying it. So I'm gonna spray more of the grade in. We might get through this today. We might be able to finish this up. You know, with my daytime and my nighttime skincare. Um, which the face food, Mineral Mist, I think I received this sort of like the end of March and I've already used up the whole thing. I really, really enjoy this. I like the mist, I like the scent, I like the way it makes my skin feel. Um, this, this, these are just like really great mists. If you haven't tried either one of them, I really love them. Um, and I am trying to like sort of go through my mist collection because I have many. So I use seven drops of this in, during the day because it is very lightweight so I can use quite a bit of it. 
And then at night I do use eight drops. Not like the one drop makes that much of a difference, but <laughs> it might help me go through it a little bit quicker um, just because I don't want it to go to waste. So how long have I been using that now? I've been using that about maybe a little bit longer than a month. I've only ever used up, like completely used up two oils that I can think of. The Moon Aknari Serum I've used up completely. Um, and then the Fit Glow Cloud Collagen Oil I've used up completely. I love that stuff. That stuff is great. This sort of reminds me of that in texture, not in scent obviously, because the scent is very different, but sort of like in texture and like the way my skin responds to it, because I find this very calming and very like repairing and healing. And I found that the Fit Glow Cloud Collagen Oil was sort of like the same way. It's very calming, very like reparative for my skin and it sinks right in. Not, it's not greasy. Okay, and then I've been using the Fit Glow Skin IC Firm just because again, I'm trying to use up a bunch of stuff and this was sort of like one of my oldest eye creams. I can show you where I'm at. Almost done, if it's gonna focus, probably not. But anyway, I have like this much left. So I take a little pump on my ring finger. My child came in, in case you hear. This is a very quiet house. It's very like, sort of like big and open. So I just take that and I rub that around the eyeballs. I do prefer the Mukti one. Like this isn't one that I'll rebuy. Um, just because I don't think I notice any specific difference with this one. What is it supposed to do? It says Icy Firm. I don't know if it's supposed to like brighten around the under eyes, but I definitely noticed more of a difference in my eyes when I was using the Mukti one, but I also want to finish some things and not let them go to waste. So that's what I'm working really hard on at the moment. So let's spray again. let the mist sink in. Okay, so then like I said, I do have a different um, moisturizer for the day and the night. I did talk about these in my last current skincare routine video, so if you wanna go back and hear like a more thorough, you know, speaking of those, because I'm not gonna go into them as, de as detailed as I did in that video, just because it's not much different. You really don't need to hear the same things, you know. You don't wanna hear, whatever. <laughs> So this is the, I'm using in the daytime, I'm using the Phyto Clear Botanic Retinol Gel Cream still from Graydon. Um, this works really well for me, especially because I did, I, well, I, I haven't broken out a ton because I'm off sugar. So I'm being very, very, you know, careful with what I put into my mouth. I haven't eaten sugar in like three weeks. You know, I was very proud of myself last night. You know, when we come up here, we usually do s'mores because my stepdad has like a gas um, sort of like fire pit in the backyard, so we like to do s'mores. Um, last night, I did not, I did not partake in the s'mores because I was like, nope, my skin is doing good. I know what a s'more tastes like. I, you know, I'm not missing out on anything. Um, so I'm, I'm being really diligent about what I'm putting in my mouth, and I'm not partaking in the sugar. <laughs> so I'm still using this because I did. Um, I do have like a few tiny breakouts, like a little bit on my forehead. Um, I'm breaking out, or I was breaking out under my chin. Not so much anymore. There's, I had a few breakouts around my jawline. Don't really know what from, but at least it's not as bad as like, you know, when I eat sugar. So I'm still using this um, during the daytime. And then at night, like I said, I'm using the 12 Beauty. All right, so in, did I talk about this in my last one? I can't remember if I shared with you, if I was doing this last last time, last time, but I am doing it now. Um, so in my moisturizer during the day, I am mixing in a drop of the Prima Enlightenment Serum, which is a 100 milligram hemp CBD concentrated boost for vital hydration and even skin tone. So I received this one from, the Clean Beauty box, was it earlier this year or late last year? I can't really remember. Um, but then Detox Market also um, started carrying Prima, so they sent me a few things. And then I've also started working with Prima because um, I've been trying their supplements. 
So I am gonna save this mostly for like another video. I am gonna sort of like talk about like supplements, but I am taking their daily essential hemp blend right now. Um, so I guess maybe sort of like a little backstory of why I decided to try this. Uh, you guys know my mental health has not been <laughs> fantastic for the last year. And to, to put it, I guess not so delicately or as delicately as I can, I've had a lot of thoughts of self-harm um, and I know people are probably gonna be like, you need to be seeing a therapist, but like, <laughs> before I go on like any kind of pharmaceutical drug, I really would like to try to combat the, th the things that I'm going through like as holistically as I can, because that's just how I like to do things. Um, I'm like really nervous talking about this because I feel like there's probably some sort of stigma about talking about depression and like, you know, self-harm and things like that. Like I have not. I have not hurt myself, but I have, like, there are many nights where I laid in bed and I just, I wanted it to be over because I'm, just like the last year has not been, <laughs> has not been good for many people. And like, you know, for some, like me, like I don't, there's nothing really in my life that's like going on that like, I'm not struggling, you know, like financially, like we're in a good place. I'm able to homeschool my son, but like, it's the, it's, it's all the, it's, it's the not th things being normal that has really, really gotten to me. You know, my kid having to miss out on school because I refuse to put him in a mask and I don't know how long that's gonna go on for. You know, the, <laughs> just even having a different opinion about certain things and other people attacking you for those opinions. Like I've shared my opinions on masks before and like, I get it. Like, I know that people think that these are like, th you can't even talk about these things. Like this is why I am been so depressed is because you cannot talk about these things without other people thinking that you're a terrible person or that you're gonna harm somebody or whatever. But like, I've been locked in my house for a year. I'm going fucking crazy. Um, <laughs> and some days I wanna hurt myself. And okay, so I'm getting off track. I, I didn't mean to do that. Anyway, I started taking these because I'm having those feelings and I'm trying to do what I can holistically to curb those feelings and, um, you know, not be there. So, um, like, do, do your own research on supplements or like figure out what you're comfortable taking, but I'm comfortable taking sort of like these kinds of supplements to sort of like figure out. So I haven't done CBD, you know, okay. This year, so weed became legal in Arizona. And so I decided to try it <laughs> for the first time ever in my whole life. So yeah, I have taken some edibles and I have, you know, smoked because I'm trying to figure out a way to sort of like deal with my depression as like naturally as I can. And these things are sort of helping. Um, I haven't, you know, I was thinking about it the other day and like since I started taking these and like in the last couple of weeks I haven't had as many thoughts of like self-harm as I have in the past. Like it used to be nightly and I haven't in the last couple of weeks. I haven't laid down and I haven't cried and I haven't, you know, like <laughs> wanted to end my life. Um, but I, I mean like are these things helping? I feel like on, a, in, on some level that they are. So like, I'm not a doctor. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you if you are severely depressed, take these and you'll be cured because everything works differently for everybody. The same with pharmaceuticals. You know, some people cycle through different antidepressant medications until they get to the one that works for them. And I'm trying to do this naturally. <clears throat> so that's just what I prefer. And can you tell how fucking nervous I am? <laughs> but anyway, these have been working for me. So these are the daily essential hemp blend. They're a vegan capsule. They have 25 milligrams of hemp CBD per serving. So, and I was, I, I got on a Zoom call with the, you know, the founder and the owner of Prima. And she was like, so how have you been feeling? Cause like, I, I reached out to them when I saw that they released a couple of supplements, like sort of geared towards anxiety and stress. And I was like, hey, I would really love to try these things and see how they work for me because I'm sort of dealing with, you know, I, I went into my story, you know, like I'm honest about, <laughs> I'm honest about my stuff with people. So I was like, hey, I've been having a lot of feelings of anxiety and, you know, self-harm and things like that. And I would really love to try these things and see how they work for me, whatever. So then like I had tried them for a couple of weeks and I got on the Zoom call with the, the woman and she was like, so how do you feel like they're working for you? Do you feel any different? And I was like, well, I mean, I don't, I don't really know. Like, I don't, 
how do I, how do I, what would I know if I feel like they're working? Like, she's like, well, how have you been feeling like mentally? And so then I was like telling her that I haven't been feeling as, you know, sort of like anxious and, you know, depressed and things like that. And she's like, you know, you're, you're supposed to not, she was saying that you, it's like a, you sort of, it's, that's like, like, that's how they work. Like you sort of like notice that gradually you start to feel less of those things and you just start to feel more, I don't know, like balanced, I guess. I don't know. So anyway, these are working for me. I'm going to keep taking them because I feel like, I feel like they are working on some level for my depression and, you know, anyway, who else is feeling that way? Can, can I have some like camaraderie, please, instead of people like attacking me for, though I don't think you guys are going to attack me, but th there's always that fear when you talk about something as serious as that, that somebody's gonna just be like, well, your life isn't fucking hard. Like, what do you have to be depressed about? Like, those are, that's why I, I sometimes don't wanna talk about these things because, you know, like, in all intents of purposes, my life isn't hard. Like, I'm not going through anything, you know, super difficult. Like, I haven't lost my job. My husband hasn't lost his job. We haven't lost our house. We've been able to pay our bills. You know, we've been able to do improvements on our house. Like. We're, we were going on normally and like I do feel guilt about you know the things going on in the world that I can't change you know that's it too you know all the stuff going on outside all the the violence and the hate and the just everything everything in the last year I haven't even cried in a while and I don't want to cry okay so it's just like a lot of things it's like a combination of things you know like you guys have suggested to me that I'm like a highly sensitive person and I'm definitely I've I've bought books I'm like reading up on that I, I definitely feel like that's true and you know like everything that's like going on in the world it just sort of like I feel it all and a lot of the times I do feel guilty for I mean not having it hard I don't know like I wish I, I wish I could change the world but I can't so I just do my best to try and um, be a good person and teach my son to be a good person and just love everybody and I'm gonna do my moisturizer now. So I spray again. So anyway, like the whole thing is, is like I'm trying. I'm trying different things to sort of get my mental health on track. And I feel like, I feel like I've been better, except when I talk about it. Cause when I talk about it and I think about it, then it all comes out. Anyway, I take a pump of the Graydon Fido Clear. <laughs> This is not what you guys were expecting in this video, is it? Um, and then I take one drop of the, the Enlightenment Serum, which I think, what is this supposed to do? So it's got broad spectrum hemp, um, saccharide complex and niacinamide. And they did send me um, the rest of their line because I had tried their moisturizer when Clean Beauty Box sent it to me and then they sent me their oil. So when I'm done with the 12 Beauty Oil, um, I'll probably be switching to the Prima, the Prima skincare to try that and review it. Um, so I'm just going to, you know, I'm rubbing those two together and then rubbing them on my face. So anyway, not to get all like emotional, and like cry because you know I don't like to come on here and do that though it might seem like I do because I do it quite often I try not to film Mondays anymore when I'm like severely depressed because I mean nobody wants to watch that but you know the last couple weeks have been better am I cured no I probably never will be but you know I think a lot of it is just sort of like the weight of the world, you know, and how do I change that? I mean, I can't. I gotta stop talking about this because I just want to cry again. <laughs> All right, so as that sits on my face, let's talk about the last thing. So this is the Votonic Light Shifting Solution SPF 25. So the full size is what you're getting. It's 1.6 ounces and it's $52. Um, and then it just comes in like that same sort of packaging as the Aura. So if there's one thing we've learned recently, it's that the only constant is change. Adaptation is necessary for survival, and this holds true for our skin as well. Um, Blasoma offers multi multidisciplinary products to support skin's dynamic nature. It is constantly receiving and reacting to stimuli, for better or for worse. And while our skin is smart, it knows how to defend, repair, and heal. We can make its job easier by reducing toxic burden and replenishing its natural oils and essential nutrients. So it can adapt to change with ease. 
The simple recipe for skin success is the soul of Blistoma. So this month's hero product is the Photonic Light Shifting Solution SPF 25. It's a summer skin savior supporting skin's natural function by providing a lightweight veil of protection, hydration, and antioxidant nourishment, a base of nutrient-rich oils including argan, tamanu, sesame, and red raspberry, soften and condition the skin, giving this SPF its silky texture. non nano zinc oxide provides a stable source of broad spectrum protection, while niacinamide helps blur and fade the appearance of dark spots and seals in skin's natural moisture. Black tea, gatu cola, and hydrangea support a resilient skin barrier. Finally, this bioadaptive formula is naturally tinted with axaxanthin, but glides on sheer, leaving no residue for even the darkest, darkest skin tones. So I've used this, I've used this over the years um, quite a few times. I really enjoy it. So let's show you what it looks like. So I'm actually going out today. Um, We're going to go see a meteor crater. We've never done that before, but there is one here. So I figured, what the hell, it's only an hour away. So I did three lines on my fingers and really this does it just blends in like nothing try to remember to do my ears because i did get burned on the tops of my ears uh the last time i got burned so that just sinks in absorbs doesn't leave you know any kind of tint or anything no white cast So that is that. And I, so two weekends ago was when I got burned because I didn't wear sunscreen. Last weekend we were in the backyard again doing, you know, yard stuff because we're working on our garden, getting the backyard all situated. Um, I wore that, didn't burn. So I've been wearing that consistently for the last couple of weeks. I'm really enjoying it. I do really think that the combination of both of those things is like improving my skin, you know? It just looks better starting to look brighter. And that just blends in so effortlessly. So it's 12.5% zinc. I really like the formula of it. I think 25 is like enough for normal like day-to-day -day stuff. All right, so anyway, I need to dry my hair um, and get myself ready so we can go do some fun things today. Get out of the house, just go do some, just go do some stuff. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I hope it wasn't too depressing. I really didn't mean for it to go there, but you know, I've been wanting to talk about it in some capacity for a while, but like, I never know how to approach these things because people have all sorts of feelings about the ways that you should be dealing with stuff. And like, I definitely don't, however you deal with your depression is like your business. And um, just because I don't want to do pharmaceuticals doesn't mean that that's not the right option for somebody else. So I don't want it to come across as like, I think that's like not a good option, but it's just not what I want to do. Um, do whatever is best for you. Like that's basically the motto of my channel. It's what I say all the time because we all have different opinions on how to do everything, you know, different opinions on skincare, different opinions on like, the world, different opinions on parenting, different opinions on depression probably. Do what is best for you because I don't live your life. You live your life. So, I, I mean, just like you guys don't live my life. So it's like, yeah, anytime I talk about stuff, I, f I feel some kind of way about it because I don't know how it's going to go over. But you know what? We all have different lives. And anyway, this is about beauty heroes, not about my depression. Um, so yeah, I'll leave the link for Beauty Heroes down below in case you want to check it out. Um, I highly recommend this box if you've been looking for maybe like a brightening serum and an SPF for the summer. I love that every year Beauty Heroes features an SPF of some kind in the summer. Um, this is the only one that we'll see, I'm pretty sure, because they usually only do like one a year. But I think this is a good one, especially because it's got the axaxanthin in it, which um you know makes it it blends in there, it, my skin still looks exactly the same it doesn't look tinted it doesn't there's no white cast um obviously i want to you know i want to see this on somebody with a darker complexion just to see if it does really blend in sheer to all skin types or skin tones i have a feeling that it will but um we'll wait and see you know um i'll look on i'll be looking on instagram i feel really depressed now <laughs> Okay, I need to go so I can sort of get my mood back on track and go spend time with my family. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. All the links will be down below. I will see you guys in my next one.